Hi everyone, this is a quick video of how to uh, make your fin lines for your um, to use in your mermaid tail for the um, open close fluke. Open close fluke is a technique that I kind of developed by myself uh, in my um, earlier tail making adventures last year when I started making tails for myself um, so yeah this is something I sort of figured out um, these these fin lines as I call them I'll go a bit closer these fin lines sewn in the edge and along the um, top of the monofin on each side there's two here and there's two here these these ones that are nearest to the monofin they keep the fabric in place so that when you're swimming it doesn't ride up the tail and you don't have to keep for me it doesn't have to stop and then pull it back down and then swim a bit more and then pull it back down so these fin lines help keep the fabric um, make it stay in place and I didn't sew it all the way down because that will just create a stiff stiffer bit of fabric that becomes like a flap it's not as flowy as it is like when I sew it this way so I had two from the top edge of the monofin and two on this side if you have a much wider monofin you would probably like need more more lines or maybe you just have one just to hold the fabric in place in the middle here but for me I just use I just use these two because the lump of this side of the monofin if you kick too hard it flaps open <laughs> so that's why I have an extra one here and here so along the fin edge which is this part of the, the tail fluke I just sew in um, two lines on here and on here um, I did have some lines previously but um, I didn't really need them because I already had sewn these two sides closed. The fluke tips closed so I didn't need them. So I left a hole in the middle. How I measure for the fin hole is I fold the fin monofin in half like this and then I use my hand as a me measuring device and then just from the widest part of the hand span which is like about this much and then uh, just roughly so it sits in the middle it's, it's the size of the hole that I need uh, the same goes for this fin even though it doesn't look like it it is a hand span with fifth fin hole see um, because this fin is wider this is the Mirage rubber mermaid fin so because this fin is wider there is uh, still a bit more fin up here but um, it doesn't really matter because it's four-way stretch fabric the same as uh, same kind of material as the rest of the tail up there it's all four-way stretch fabric so it'll stretch much bigger than it, what it looks like on the tail um, just be sure if you're using this kind of fin to hold it by the hold it by the uh, pointy tips so you don't poke holes in your tail I haven't poked holes in mine but um, just to be sure because I trim I rounded mine off they're not as sharp as when I first bought them bought it so yeah so that fits that. It's same t same technique, just a different uh, size and shape of monofin. I marked the two lines because it's a wider monofin. I space the fin lines further apart so that there's one near this um, top corner on each side, and one further along at the next uh, fin ridge. This Mirage Mermaid fin has fin ridges on it as well like there's a rounded part and then there's like a bit here that goes down so I spaced it along that for the bottom edge 
of the fin the same way as I did this. I just followed the top fin line here and here and just sewed one here, one here and one for the corner so it doesn't uh, flap open. The same on this side. Also leaving a hand span width fin hole. Um, doesn't look very big so just looking down on it but it does stretch out to be a very big fin hole. Um, the only things that I hand sewed on these two tails is the fin tips because uh, it didn't fit inside my sewing machine because it was too thick and I already broke some needles trying to cram these fin tips inside of it <laughs> so I decided just to hand sew the fin tips other than that it fits perfectly why I do it this way is because apart from the flowiness is um, so like I said the water can move through it easily and as you know water moves through it and the air bubbles can escape easily whereas if you had like a totally closed tail you find that the air bubbles and water become um, kind of trapped in there and it, it becomes harder to swim in because um, like I said all that extra weight and air that's being trapped inside the tail there's no way for it to go so that's why I make all my tails this way so it's easier and lighter to swim in and um, also if you have a fin that isn't made of rubber it's more stiff and not flexible like like these um, foil and mirage and merfin if you don't have those kinds of monofin I presume you would just where you have your fin lines across here you would just use velcro or some kind of button snaps to help keep the fabric in place and then velcro or button snaps the rest on the fin edge you won't probably need to save a fin hole in the middle because like I said you'd have your velcro or your button snaps to keep the two sides of the fabric together that's what I think anyway but because I don't have those kinds of monofins I'm not entirely sure but that that would be how I would go about it if I had one um, you know, yeah that's my um, open closed tail flukes and uh, happy swimming and I'll see you next time bye